think about it. Barrenness is a condition as well as a feeling. To be barren, to be childless, to be without a son meant that your family name ended. Your family line stopped. There's no future. You know, a lot of people feel barren nowadays. I mean, they look back at their life and they say, wow, it went by so fast, and nothing. Nothing to speak of. Uh, 18% of all Americans will never get out of debt. That, that was New York Times said it, and I believe it, uh, even though who knows if they're telling the truth. It says that a fifth of all Americans have decided to give up. They say, we're just going to keep buying and charging and, and, and borrowing enough money to get us out of debt, you know, and we're just going to keep doing that and doing that and doing that, and we'll never pay it back. They have this barren life where they realize they're never getting anywhere. That, that's Elizabeth. You know, she could have gotten embittered by that, hopeless, paralyzed. She could have withdrawn from society. But what's the lesson, the application? God is in charge of my circumstances. Elizabeth knew that you can be hopelessly headed towards nothing as far as everybody outside can see and still be living a significant, spirit-filled life that's useful to God. Why? Because all the unchangeable parts of my life, God is in charge of. And for me to have great joy, I just need to acknowledge that and say, Lord, if I am barren, if I am childless, if I am whatever the circumstance is, what is your plan for that? Because I want to fulfill what you want me to do to be useful in that. And that's exactly where Elizabeth did. 